Hey, Bold fans, hopefully you're having a magnificent Monday. Yes, we still have leftover mania from Friday. Hopefully you guys have gathered yourself as the bottom fell out of the soap world. And we know what we're talking about when it comes to Luna and Bill. You know what? We still continue with the drama on this new week. I'm going to give you a few highlights. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. First, we see Steffi learning about Hope's kiss on fan we also see lee supporting her sister as not being the murderer and bill rejects luna even though he have her stay in his house so without any further ado let's go ahead and unpack this la drama for monday august 19th Let's kick things off over at Bill's place where the bottom fell out. As we remember, first the bombshell was that Bill was not her father. But Soapies, remember, that wasn't the only bomb that she dropped. She looks him dead in the eye and before Bill can even process the news, she plants one right on his lips. Yeah, you heard that right. A full-on kiss. The kind that leaves you blinking in disbelief and fanning yourself like, did that really just happen? Now, Bill, for once in his life, is caught off guard, completely frozen like a deer in headlights. I mean, when was the last time we saw Dollar Bill Spencer lost for words? Luna, clearly flustered but not backing down, tells him that kissing him was the last thing she expected, just as finding out he's not her father was the last thing she expected. Yeah, drama. Bill is still reeling. He backs away, though, and demands to know what the French toast is going on. Bill, oh, poor Bill, can barely keep up. Why would you kiss me? Still trying to wrap his head around the fact that this young woman just laid one on him. He's rightfully concerned, though, about her emotional state. So are we. After all, finding out your mom, according to Katie, is not exactly a saint and potentially manipulated a paternity test can send anyone into a tailspin. But again, she was nowhere near that paternity test that Lee conducted. Anyway, Luna starts to apologize and you can see the guilt written all over her face. Now, Bill, trying to be the voice of reason, suggests she get some professional counseling. And I agree. Bless his heart. He's really trying to be there for her. Even offers to let her stay at his place. Um, Bill, she does have a boyfriend an auntie, and a cousin that she could stay with in town. But makes it crystal clear, though, that that kiss was a one-time thing. He got a soft spot for her, no doubt about that. But even Bill knows when a line has been crossed. Luna, overwhelmed by his kindness, tells him, No man has ever been that loving to me as you have. Cue the awkward hug. Bill is trying, folks. I mean, he's really trying. But you can tell he's just not sure what to do with all this emotion. Meanwhile, over at Forrester Creations, Hope is having a full on mental spiral of her own she's supposed to be focusing on fashion or i don't know something work related but all she can think about is that kiss with finn and the subsequent threat that he made to blow her life sky high by spilling the beans to steffi into brooke stage left with the latest news flash poppy's been arrested for two murders yeah you read that right too the body count in this family drama keep rising now brooke is beside her Self, wondering if Poppy's actually been set up and frankly how is this all going to affect Bill and her son RJ now she's worried about the family dynamics going to be a shift especially if Tom was really Luna's father but while Brooke is going on and on about Poppy's predicament she notices that her daughter isn't exactly paying attention Oh, Brooke, you might want to sit down for this one. Now, Hope admits that she's been thinking about Finn, and it's not the way you want your daughter to think about another woman's husband. Hope's caught in this whole whirlwind of emotions. She thought that she was done fighting Steffi over men, but seeing how devoted Finn is to Steffi has got her feeling some type of way. She even admitted to her mom that she kissed him, thinking that he'd make a great friend and, let's be real, love her. Brooke, yeah, she's not having it. You kiss Steffi's husband? Of course, giving us that classic soap opera disbelief that we live for. But it's true, folks. Hope went there, and now she got to figure out how to pick up the pieces of this very fragile situation before it all come crashing down. And later this week, it absolutely will. 
And speaking of crashing down over at the jail, Poppy is in full-blown panic mode. She's trying to convince her sister, Lee, that she didn't drug Tom or Hollis. Somebody's framing her, and she's desperate to figure out who. Poppy knows that if they can just find out who planted that backpack, they'll uncover the real culprit behind all this mess. But while she's frantic, she's also heartbroken about how this is affecting Luna. Thank God she has Bill. She's clinging to one brain bright spot in this disaster unbeknownst to her yeah her daughter has been up to no good but lee ever the skeptic throws a little bit of serious shade poppy's way suggesting that poppy kept luna from bill not for her daughter's sake but for her own selfish reasons ouch however lee doesn't believe her sister is a murderer though and they have a bonding moment and she vows to help poppy prove her innocence keep an eye on luna and making sure bill stays in the loop he's in the loop all right and now we swing over to the cliff house where things are getting tense steffi pick up on finn's weird vibe and demands to know what hope is done now but before finn can spill the tea guess who pops up taylor looking like a breath of fresh air and two women are gushing over how much they missed each other taylor being a wise and calming presence is thrilled to see how committed steffi and finn are to each other and she's planning to stick around for a while but steffi can sense something's up with finn she finally pushes him to tell her what's going on and oh boy does he deliver finn reveals at that party while everybody was getting busy with danny Hope pulled him aside and planted a big old kiss on him. Yep, that kiss. Steffi's eyes widen as she's trying to process what she just heard. Your lips met? You kissed Hope? And you can look at the confusion on his face. She asked because she got all this disbelief in her voice. The tension in that room is so thick you can cut it with a knife. And Finn confirmed what Steffi feared. The fallout from this is going to be epic. But it's crazy how she flipped that around because he said Hope kissed him. And she said he kissed Hope. Yeah, it's going to be interesting where she goes from here in tomorrow's episode. But... Well, whatever it is, the fallout is going to be epic. Oh, and by the way, Steph, if you want to apply that logic to Finn that he kissed Hope when Hope kissed him, I'm assuming when Liam kissed you, you kissed Liam. Yeah, don't forget about those two kisses too. Okay, so there you have it, my soapies. A day in the life at the bold and the beautiful where secrets, kisses, and betrayals are just the beginning. So yeah, we got to tune in tomorrow because if today's drama was any indication, this week is going to be one wild ride. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What did you think about Steffi's reaction, learning about that kiss that Hope planted on Finn, and then she flipped it around saying that Finn kissed her? Then we see Lee supporting her sister as not being the murderer. I like that bonding moment between those two. Bill rejects Luna and her kiss. However, staying in that house, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, Bill, she does have a boyfriend who has a beach house. She also has an auntie, Lee. And then she has a cousin, Finn. So she got places to stay. She don't have to stay at your house. But you know what, you guys? Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you check out the Young and the Restless recap for today as well as we had Summer and Audra having a confrontation at the GCAC. Victor wants to exploit Jill's illness, and Chelsea says she need a break from Billy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. I am T from Soap Corner Talk, and until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, Soapies. Thank you.